Ready to make your first $1,000 as a copywriter? In this video, I'm sharing four proven strategies for finding copywriting clients fast, including real life stories of how some of my students landed their very first clients. Keep watching. Hey Posse, what's up? It's Alex. If you're new to copywriting and looking for your first paying client, this video is for you. Make sure to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel if you want me to create more content like this. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Now let's not waste any time and jump right in. If you're new around here, you might not know that I was a freelance copywriter for over 10 years, long before I started this channel. And over those years, I discovered four of what I think are the most effective client acquisition strategies. I call these methods hunt, gather, play, and slay. And I teach them along with all of my copywriting templates and formulas and best practices inside my eight week copywriter coaching program, the Coffee Posse Launchpad that launches just one time a year. And you can learn more about that in the description box below. And to show you exactly how simple these methods can be, I'll share real life stories of how some of my students landed their very first clients. And if you wanna know the number one fastest way to grow your business and find high paying clients, you wanna make sure to pay attention to method number four because that is where the real magic happens. So let's dive into each one right now. Method number one, hunt. So this method is all about getting strategic and searching for clients that are a fit for you. You are quite literally going out there and hunting for clients. So ask yourself, what brands do you admire and what products do you love? Follow them on social media, get on their email lists and watch what they are doing. You can try reaching out via a cold email or DM, but honestly, cold outreach has never been my favorite strategy because it's 100% a numbers game. So if you're willing to send out hundred messages without taking it personally, when you get 99 no's or simply no response, then go for it. Personally, I like to be a little bit more strategic and personal with my outreach. This might look like scouring these companies' career pages or waiting for them to share or post a job opportunity that you can apply for. In fact, my student Chi from Launchpad Season 2 actually got her very first client by following them on social media and regularly checking out their posts and engaging with them. And then one day they posted a copywriting opportunity, she applied and got the job. With the hunt method, your biggest goal is to get your foot in the door with a company that you want to work with. And it may start as a smaller project or another role related to copywriting, like social media, project management, or community management. In fact, a writer on my team first started working with me as a community manager. Even though she was technically a copywriter and did my Launchpad program and didn't necessarily want to be doing community management, but she loved my brand and was excited to work with me no matter what the role was. She happily came on board, started at just five hours a week and was paid hourly. She did a great job, proved herself, was willing and eager to learn, and it didn't take long at all before she got on retainer and started taking on additional roles. Now she's been working with me for four years and is one of the two writers on my team. So this really goes to show that once you're in with a brand, it's a lot easier to work your way up to high paid copywriter status. All right, let's move on to method number two, gather. So this method is all about good old fashioned networking and it should start with connecting with who you already know. Share what you're doing with the people who are most likely to advocate for you, support you, and yes, refer you. I'm talking friends, family, colleagues, even bosses. The number of success stories of my students who use this method to find their first clients is huge. I'm talking about copywriters who did the simplest thing ever and posted on their social media account about the copywriting course they were taking and then literally had clients reaching out to them. Like Samantha who mentioned that she was taking a course with the copy posse and had someone reach out asking if she could write their emails. And Michaela who posted on social media that she had just joined one of my programs and had her first client reach out to her. I have other students who told their current bosses what they were up to and then their bosses hired them and became their first clients. How amazing is that? I know that won't work for everybody, but how cool is that? And others who simply had a conversation with friends or strangers, which led to a referral for their very first client. Like Linda, who told a friend of hers that she was learning copywriting and within two weeks, that friend referred her to a client. Or Evelyn, who simply told all of her writer friends what she was up to and got a referral to one of their old clients. Or Rob, who told an old colleague that he was learning copywriting and looking for clients and immediately got two referrals. But in addition to telling people you know about your new career path, get out there and meet people you don't yet know. Go to marketing seminars, workshops, or local meetups in your area. I'm talking trade shows, entrepreneurial events, conferences. I met my very first high paying retainer client at a marketing conference, but 
networking tip, please, please, please do not show up with a stack of business cards asking people to contact you. They won't. Instead, go with the intention of making genuine connections and friends. And don't let your lack of experience stop you from connecting with business owners or potential clients or applying for jobs that may seem a bit over your head. My student Missy got her first client through a referral after graduating from the launch pad. The problem was this job post said that they wanted two years of experience, proven metrics, and all of these things that typically scare new copywriters away from applying for a job. But I absolutely love what Missy said, and I quote her all the time. She said, I wasn't gonna be the one to tell myself no. I was gonna bet on myself, apply anyway, and then let them tell me no. Well, they told her yes, despite her inexperience, because they loved her portfolio and her personality. They hired her for a full-time copywriting position, and that was her first writing job ever. This goes to show that people wanna work with people they know and like, period. Your skills are of course important, but that is not why someone will hire you. They will hire you for you. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> so show up, be you, let your personality shine through. I love this story shared by one of my students, Abdel. I had a revelation during Posse Week Day 2. People hire people. First, when I saw that during the live session, I said to myself, uh, yeah, this is obvious. Is Alex on drugs or something? <laughs> I love that. Uh, and then Alex talked about showing your personality and I was like, oh, I see with my mouth open. I went back to my cold emails I sent recently. I clearly noticed that I couldn't sense my personality, my style, or my way of expressing myself. Why? Because I wanted the email to be professional AF. So I kept a very boring style, but very professional, maybe too professional. Okay, let's write a cold email with no filter at all. No filter. I put words on paper as it came in my brain. Then I deleted some bad words because there were way too many F words, bullshit, etc. <laughs> I sent this email to a prospect I would like to work with for their email marketing. And guess what? After four hours, I got a reply from him. He said, you made me laugh and he wants to set up a call with me to discuss how I can help him. I was just hiding my personality because I was afraid that potential clients reading my emails would find me crazy and not serious, but I was wrong. It feels so good to be myself. Ooh, goosebumps, Abdel. I love that so, so much. Thank you for sharing. How? powerful is that? Never underestimate the power of being you. And you'd be surprised how easily you land your first client. All right, let's move on to method number three, play. Yep, engage with brands you love. Find Facebook groups where your dream clients hang out and truly connect and just have fun. This method is all about planting seeds. Plant seeds often and everywhere, and eventually, I promise you, my friend, they will sprout. While you don't need to be on every single platform in order to get traction, my advice is to maybe pick two that work for you and go for it. So maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's Facebook groups. Now listen, I'm not suggesting that you go nuts and send out cold outreach emails and messages to everyone left and right. No, all you have to do is wait for it, have conversations with people. <laughs> Drop the agenda, chat with people on topics they care about, post relevant content, showcase your skills, start genuine conversations and share value in online business communities. And you will be surprised how far this can go for you. I have students who had someone reach out to them months after they first started the conversation. And if you can join a community where you get access to an exclusive job board, trust me, this is a game changer. And it's one of the biggest perks my students get when they join my live copywriting coaching program, the Copy Posse Launchpad. We have a job board that is updated frequently with new job opportunities, many of them exclusively for my community. In fact, Mel got her very first client through Copy Posse Job Board and then later landed a six figure a year client. Yes, six figures a year, one client through the job board. All right, now on to the fourth and final method, slay. So this one is exactly what it sounds like. Once you start getting clients, no matter how small, show up, do the work, over deliver, be flexible and available, never stop learning and improving and be open to feedback. Do this and your clients will continue to pay you time and time again and refer you, yes, refer you to other clients in their network. And this is the number one fastest way to grow your business. This is how I took my business from low five figures to multiple six figures as a freelancer long before I ever started the Copy Posse. And it's how so many of my students took their launch pad portfolio and used it as the launch pad for building fun, fulfilling and lucrative copy 
copywriting business is. Something that makes the Launchpad super unique is that I don't just teach you how to write good copy. During this once a year program, I also, and this is really cool, give you your first client to write copy for. Mm -hmm. It's something that I call the A-list. So in week one of the Copy Posse Launchpad program, your job is to select a product to write your Launchpad portfolio on, right? But rather than write for a mock product or a big inaccessible brand that will never even see your portfolio copy, I give you the option of writing your Launchpad portfolio for an actual business that is looking for a copywriter right now. Yes, you get to pick from my A-list of real products by real companies that are looking for copywriting support for real right now, which means you get to add real client copy to your portfolio, plus get your work in front of a brand that is actually looking for copy help and might just might hire you for ongoing work or refer you to another business they know who is looking for copy support. Listen, finding clients and building a successful copywriting business isn't easy. I am the first one to tell you that. Doing anything worthwhile and fulfilling takes hard work and it takes persistence. You have to be willing to hear more no's than yeses, especially in the beginning, but that is just part of the process. So don't take it personally. The truth is, Clients are everywhere, I promise you that. And if you follow these four methods and you stick with it and you don't give up and you put yourself out there and you consistently plant seeds, you will find your first client, I guarantee it. And if you wanna fast track your process, make sure you check out my eight week copywriter coaching program where I'll teach you absolutely everything you need to know about copywriting, how to create a portfolio that helps you stand out and makes it so much easier to find your dream clients. I am here to guide you every step of the way, even if you are brand spanking new and you can learn more about that program in the description box below. Now I'm curious, which method are you going to try first? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, I'm Alex. Ciao for now. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out the next one from me right here. And you can click right here to get a free gift. If you want to become a highly paid, sought after, and completely irreplaceable copywriter who thrives even in the age of AI, stays fully booked with your dream clients, and stands head and shoulders above the rest, then there are five very important skills that you must master. And plot twist, they have absolutely nothing to do with writing. Keep watching.